everybody and welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is all about slow sex and orgasmic meditation and why we should be practicing slow sex in our relationships and practicing orgasmic meditation with our partners, the benefits, how to do it, and where to get more information on it. So this is something that I've been really excited about recently. Obviously on this channel, on this page, we cover a wide variety of topics and I am always for, you know, being progressive and trying out new things and exploring our bodies and being open and honest with ourselves and our partners. And so recently I've been doing a lot more research and practice around the idea of slow sex and orgasmic meditation. I've filmed videos before on this channel about mindful meditation, mindful masturbation, and mindful sex. And I've explained um, different ways to practice that with your own body. But today's video is about orgasmic meditation and practicing mindful masturbation, but with your partner. So orgasmic meditation is something I do not uh, invent. I actually read about it in this book recently called Slow Sex by Nicole Daydun. And I highly, highly recommend you guys pick up this book if this video has sparked your interest in learning about slow sex and it's something that you think you're gonna wanna practice with your partner, get those benefits. So yeah, I recently read this book and then I started practicing orgasmic meditation with my partner as well. So I wanted to share my experience with it, um, some of the benefits that she talks about in the book, why you should be practicing and how to start the practice of it, uh, and talk about slow sex and this idea of slow sex. So right off the bat, I've always been a huge advocate for slowing things down in the bedroom, using communication as much as possible, and tuning into the sensations in our body. So my video on mindful masturbation talks about ways that you can masturbate. Um, I recommend using a hands-free vibrator in that just so you can fully focus on your body and the sensations, um, or you know, touch yourself and, and focus on the sensations in your body. What slow sex does and what orgasmic meditation does is that it kind of takes the pressure off of the female to have to do that. Um, and so you can be fully immersed in the experience and your partner can also be fully immersed in the experience by being uh, the stroker. So quick disclaimer, I'm going to be talking about this in terms of heterosexual couples. Um, you can still do this with same sex couples as well, but the majority of the book, um, she talks about it in a heterosexual relationship standpoint and since I've been practicing it in a heterosexual relationship, I can only speak to that. But don't think that you can't do this if you're in a same-sex relationship. You definitely can, you just kind of have to choose some of the roles that the person's going to play. Um, whereas in a heterosexual relationship, your partner, so the male partner, will be the stroker and the female partner will be the strokey. And I'm going to get into that in a couple minutes here, so don't be confused. Um, but just want to do a quick little disclaimer at the top. So the whole point of orgasmic meditation and slow sex is so the female can kind of tap into her body, the sensations, and also for the male to kind of get to know his partner's body more um, and to attend to it and to help the female get into a state of relaxation, a state where she can focus on what's happening in her body, focus on the sensations that come up, similar to if you were to take a yoga class or do meditation. You try not to go into orgasmic meditation or slow sex with any expectations. Uh, it's simply just an experience that you're meant to enjoy. And climax is not the goal. The focus of it, again, is just to focus on sensation and pleasure. You don't want to focus on climax and you don't want to think that if you're not climaxing, you're a failure. The whole point of this is just to kind of get to know our bodies better and to start to pick up on where we feel the most sensation and um, tap into how we feel as sexual beings, right? A lot of um, times women especially have so much stigma around sex and we've been taught to think of sex as one way, which is simply P and V penetration. And if that doesn't work for us, then we're failures or we're wrong. So what slow sex helps us do is to completely take that pressure off of us, right? There's no P and V penetration. Our partner actually is fully clothed um, and we're partially clothed. It's simply just about the female and her experience and what it's like to be touched and rubbed on her clit. So getting into that, there's many benefits to this, right? It's gonna help your partner understand your body and help them learn it more. Um, one part of orgasmic meditation, and I won't go too much in detail of how to do it because um, you can get her book and she has like fully lined out the steps and instructions uh, for each partner. There's diagrams, it's very well laid out. Um, I just kind of want to spark your interest in it in case this is something that you want to do before you pick up the book. If, if you were gonna maybe you know be hesitant to buy a book like this, give you a little bit of a disclaimer before to see if you might want to be interested in this. 
one of the first steps is actually just to have them look at your vulva and describe it, which might seem uncomfortable to some right away and you might feel a little bit tense. And to be honest, in my personal experience, I did feel a little tense at first and uncomfortable. I was giggling. I kind of felt like I was at the gynecologist's office. It didn't feel super sexy to me, um, but it was a really eye-opening and beautiful experience. And I think that it helped me get closer to my partner and be really vulnerable and have them also be vulnerable back to me because they were also in a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. And then from that point on, you know, you are, your partner is going to basically rub your clit for 15 minutes and you're just supposed to experience it. You can communicate with them while they're doing it. Obviously, you're going to create a safe space uh, and you're supposed to feel very comfortable in this. Um, and yeah, just experience what it's like to have that happen. Similar to if you were going to a yoga class or you're going to a meditation practice, you're just experiencing what's happening in your body, describing it as best as you can to your partner and having your partner kind of describe it back to you and see what happens. And that's it. And then you can discuss it after the 15 minutes is over. You might be saying like, well, how is the man practicing slow sex here? And when is he having any pleasure or any stimulation? The whole point of slow sex is not to climax. It's not, not to, to say that climax won't actually happen. In many cases it might, but it's to, to build that connection and to break down these walls of what we thought traditional sex was. So to give the woman a time to, you know, tune into her body, be pleasured by a man with no expectation, no nothing in her mind that she thinks she has to do to help please him. Um, and to break down those constructs that we've kind of built up in our head and that might be blocking desire or sexual activity for us with our partner. It's slow sex is meant to kind of shake up our our understanding of sex to get us back in connection with our body and to make us more comfortable. So if you suffer from any kind of like body confidence issues or if you're feeling really uncomfortable with your sexuality, this is a great way to kind of tap into that with your partner and get vulnerable and you know build your relationship and build that connection and get it stronger. It's recommended that you practice orgasmic meditation two to three times a week, if not every single day. It's a 15 minute practice and it's going to help you better be prepared for when you have actual physical sex to pick up on those sensations that you might have been missing because you're too distracted or you never had the time to tap into your body. It's also going to help your partner with understanding where he needs to touch you in order for you to feel sensation and where you feel the most pleasure. So slow sex for me has been a really positive experience. Like I said, I'm giving you a brief overview of this book, Slow Sex, by Nicole Daydon, and I will include the link down below in the bio. It has full step instructions on how to practice slow sex. Um, she has a little 10 day guide as well. And I highly recommend you guys try it out and test it out and let me know what you think because for me personally, someone who's you know involved in the yoga community and have always done mindful masturbation and tried to be super present and aware of my body, this was an experience that I could bring my partner into where I was able to be present, it was able to increase my desire and also help me improve our sex as a, in a partnership because we both had the opportunity to understand my body better and how I respond and react. Whereas with men, it's kind of always a little bit known or it's, it's always been this one way. And so this is a really interesting and fun activity to do to flip those you know social norms and ideas on their side and try something different and be open-minded to it to see what happens, right? No expectations to explore. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful. Let me know if you've ever tried slow sex before or orgasmic meditation and if that's done anything for your relationships, increasing your desires. I can speak personally for myself that it's deeply increased my desires and also just helped my partner understand my body more and me to understand my body more. So yeah, very curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this and if you've read the book. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps the channel and I'll see you for another video shortly.